Sea Money 1911 here, as always, with more enthusiasm than skill. The Ruger Altamont Classic 5. Three different varieties of ammo. We'll see if the American Eagle works in this semi automatic 22. It utterly failed in the comparable Marlin 60. Out there, we've got a couple water jugs. Hard to see in the morning light, but we've got a large plate out there about 50 yards and uh, a rack of small plates a little closer. Not easy to see in that morning light. But what is easy to see, the beauty of this gun. Nice fish scale checkering. Nice uh, engraved logo there. Stainless steel. Let's see how we do. All right, kicking it off with the Aguila. How about we take it off safe? Oh, misses there after the first couple hits. Not bad. Let's try a small plate. Got the uh, CCI blazer here. There we go. Now the second small plate. Nice. And back to the large. There we go. Third small plate. Kind of hard to see there. Oh, nothing. Now, how about for the Federal American Eagle? The ammo that totally failed in the Marlin 60. Let's see. I'm working on the... Did I get the third small plate? I can't remember. I think I did. We'll go for the fourth from the right on the small plates. All right, there it is. Now, fifth from the right. Excellent. And sixth from the right. Beautiful. Excellent. I guess we'll do the remainder on the large plate. Oh, no remainders. So the Ruger 1022 seems to be more tolerant in terms of ammo. It will cycle this uh, Federal American Eagle, but the Marlin 60 will not. All right, we'll go after one of the water jugs with some of the Aguila Super Extra. Got to remember that uh, according to the manual, these fixed sights on this model have a six o'clock hold. And we're off safe. Got to try to get that water out, get some reaction out of that thing before it all drains. We'll go after the other water jug with some blazer. Well, first hit got some reaction, not much in the other hits. I guess we can go up and look at it later and uh, count the holes. Returning to the Federal American Eagle. These are the Ruger 10 shot rotary magazines. Well, just one magazine. 
Go back to the steel. Nice. There we go, finally. Quick. Working my way across the small plates. I'm gonna try and take only 15 more shots, try and limit my use of ammo. Let's see if I can get the remainder of the small plates, along with the uh, hits on the large plates in between. And how about we take it off safe? Alright, there's one of them. Yikes. Alright. Three more small plates to go. Only ten shots. How about we rack around? Coming up empty. Three small plates and five shots that are almost impossible to see. The way things went last time doesn't seem too likely, does it? All right, two plates left, two shots. I'm not guessing it's too likely. Oh, one plate left, one shot, who knows? Oh, that's how it's done last bullet on last two bullets on the last two small plates excellent let's go check out the jugs when the water starts to drain not all the hits may be apparent Let's see. Oh, there's some water in it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe. Hits. Ah, and what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe nine hits. I don't know which are the front holes and which are the back holes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that's nine. Looks like it's uh, hitting to the right a little bit. Was that the case with this one as well? I don't know if that's me jerking to the right, but that seems slightly to the right also. Maybe we could use uh, some paper with the Ruger 1022. Again, they're, well, I guess the front side is drift adjustable. Maybe we ought to put it on some paper. C Money 1911 with the Ruger 1022 Altamont Classic 5. Looks like it's shooting a bit to the right and may need uh, some adjustment on the front sight. But for now, that's how it's done. <laughs>